is a total madhouse here at the job site. We've got three huge trucks full of furniture. We've got the electricians who are running wires through the furniture. I've got painters finishing up. I've got decorative wall treatments going on. I have a lot in my mind. It's all organized in here somehow, but it's been a crazy day. I'm Kaylin Rothhouse, and that's me and my first building project and my first power lunch. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a designer. And now here I am creating functional and fabulous spaces. This is my client, Mark Alfieri, founder and chairman of Brandstar. And that's Carmen, his chief operating officer. They've asked me to take this building and turn it into a modern and efficient workspace. It's going to be a challenge, but in the end, the new space will be functional, and of course, it will most definitely be fabulous. As a designer, my goal on this job is to move 135 employees from this 20,000 square foot space into a much smaller 11,000 square foot building and keep everybody comfortable and productive. Last week, we lit up the space. We turned our attention upwards to the ceiling. We installed the grids and light fixtures with cutting edge technology, including daylight harvesting, which automatically controls the lighting for maximum efficiency. We're in our second month of construction, and now it's time to move on to the next phase. So my design directive from Carmen, the COO of Brandstar, was to create this sort of equality throughout the entire building with the furniture, so that Mark, the founder and chairman, sits in the same kind of chair as an employee. In fact, everyone sits in the same chair and has the same furniture. We've created an incredibly vibrant uh, culture here where people really enjoy working together. And I just didn't see any reason why the, the executives should have different chairs from the associates. Um, we're all here, we're all human beings, we're all working the same for the same outcome. Now that's going to be quite the change. Mark's current office space is far different than any employee. With its dark wood and dark furniture, huge leather sofas, and lots of personal items tucked away in all this old world storage space. It's all very old school, and my design challenge is to not only update and modernize the look of the private office for Brandstar, but create a clean, modern, and high-tech look that will be uniform throughout every office space in the building. There were still requirements for a private office, of course. They still needed a space for storage, a large enough work surface, an ergonomic chair and guest seating for private meetings, and everything flexible enough to include more or less people. To that end, I've chosen a company called Mayline to come down to Florida and meet with Mark Carmen and me to look over my design plans. CEO Alan Klotchy and his manager of sales services, Jason Dobert, showed us examples of their E5 products line of modular office furniture that is designed to support a more open and collaborative work environment. They have great solutions for workspaces, ergonomic chairs, and a wide range of materials and finishes to choose from. But just to make sure that Mayline was the right fit for our company, I decided to pay them a visit at their manufacturing plant in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, where I found a hundred-year-old tradition in pride and craftsmanship. Alan, this is such an old building. There's still some old Mayline paint on the exterior. How long have you guys been here? Well, the building's been here for over a hundred years, if you can believe it. Wow. But we've only been, we're the new tenant. 75 years ago, <laughs> we moved in here. I think one of the things that's still so unique about Mayline is that we manufacture our products here in the United States, right here in Sheboygan. It's really important how things are constructed and made, and I want to make sure that we are finding the right product for this space. I love that their products are made in the USA, and so I'm here to see more. Our employees take great pride in putting this product together, have it being American-made, and stamping that Mayline name on it. And I think in the environment that Kaylin's looking at putting together, that quality is going to be an important feature. So I'm really glad that I came to their factory today to see how things are actually made and handcrafted here in Wisconsin. Um, a lot of strong Wisconsin women are in this factory. I was very impressed by how many women are making their furniture, so that was really fantastic to see. Feeling much more comfortable having seen the factory and how things are made here at Mayline. Um, I still want to see what other options they have available, so I think it's important that I go to Neocon this year. Neocon is the country's largest national furniture trade show in Chicago, where Mayline is one of its largest exhibitors. Here, all of their newest office products are on display, 
You know, I really want to make sure that we choose the right thing for our space. It needs to meet all of the goals that we need for our project. So I'm here to make that decision. I'm meeting with Jason and he is going to show me a bunch of different products and new items and new finishes and um, some of the solutions that Mayline offers. Perfect. I think it's fantastic and I'm really happy with the privacy panel above. Yeah. After seeing your factory yeah. and you know, you guys taking the time to really help me understand your products and yeah. how they're made and I know that this is the right fit for us. Great. So I'm so excited. So my mind's made up. I think the E5 line of private office furniture from Mayline is the right solution for Brandstar's new office space. I signed the deal with Allen. I'm so excited. They did such a great job. Their customer service was the best. You know, I think our employees are going to be blown away with the options that they have. It will take about eight weeks for delivery, and we've got a tight timeline to meet. But first things first, we've got a lot of space to paint before the furniture is ever installed, and we've got to get started. You want to create a nice color pop, and that's a little too dimmed down, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Muted. <laughs> So it's painting week at Office Spaces. I've brought in Phoenix Painting to paint the interiors. Phoenix has worked on many large commercial painting projects before, so they understand this scope of work and they understand my needs. I have a lot of detailed painting work to be done, and they have experience doing large-scale projects, so I have faith in them to get the job done. I've dedicated the perimeter of the building to private offices, where the windows can bring in the natural daylight. Here, I wanted to treat the whole back wall in an accent color. As you walk by all the offices with the glass fronts, you see a beautiful blue accent wall. I wanted to create that feeling of sameness throughout the building and create a rhythm. The one thing that Kaylin and I are discuss a lot is color, the use of color, and how color affects moods and people. And, and again, it's about balance. You want something that reflects the company in a very vibrant way, but isn't too much. And so that's the one, if, if Kaylin and I discuss anything, it's the use of color. So I'm going to show you two different accent wall options, two different colors. So again, I wanted to bring that accent color of blue into the space. From office to office, it sort of unifies the different office spaces and also gives us okay. some, some unity. So this is the first color option. Okay. But let's talk about option number two. So this one is a much deeper, richer blue. Mm -hmm. We want to create a nice color pop and that's a little too dimmed down, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Muted. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So option one. Yes. Everybody's happy with option one? Like Absolutely. One. Okay, good. I wanted each office to offer a creative way for the employees to be able to express themselves. So each side wall of the office is first being painted white and then treated with a clear coat on top of that. So it will become a dry erase wall. And so you can just, it's basically it's a dry erase board, but the whole wall is. The whole wall. Because you guys, you directed me to be more paperless. Right. So this way, if you're having a meeting in your office, you can write notes, you can... You know, I mean, we have so many creative types in the company. Yeah, and it's creative, it's collaborative, and yep. it's paperless. Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah, I like that. The other wall will have a black chalkboard bubble that you can write on. So on this uh, wall, is the whole wall a chalkboard paint or no. just an area? So there's a little surprise with what we've decided to do with the chalkboard paint. So it's a smaller area, it's not okay. the whole wall. Got it. Okay. Yeah. But it's a surprise. So then, okay. It's actually the graphic symbol for Brandstar's Listen TV logo. So I drew it in AutoCAD. And then, Phoenix Painting made a template of the bubble and recreated it on the wall. We're going to be placing television monitors in that black bubble later, but mostly, I think the chalkboard bubble will just be a fun way for employees to express themselves in their individual space and personalize their office without hanging a multitude of picture frames and clutter. Even a simple thing like having the whiteboard uh, paint wall so that people could be in rooms and collaborate together with an outcome um, is extremely important in a fast-paced creative environment that we're in. I think Mark and Carmen were especially excited about this color scheme. It's good for the environment and it's a fun way to express creativity, which is what this place is all about. Total madhouse here at the job site. Any day for an interior designer that we're doing a furniture installation is a big day. But especially today with Mayline here, we've got three huge trucks full of furniture. 
and everything needs to go in a certain location. We've got the electricians who are running wires through the furniture. I've got painters finishing up. I've got decorative wall treatments going on. I have a lot in my mind. It's all organized in here somehow, but it's been a crazy day. One thing about furniture installation, when you have this much arriving all at once, literally hundreds of boxes and even boxes within boxes that all have to end up in a specific location, organization is key or else you'll end up with total chaos. What's really interesting is the way Mayline packs their trucks for delivery from Wisconsin. The trucks are packed by room so that when the trucks arrive and unpack, they can literally take the furniture out and place it in the exact location where it belongs. The fantastic news is that Mayline has sent Kathy Olick here to help with the delivery. She's the brains behind the installation and she really helps to keep things extremely organized by knowing exactly what goes where and how it's assembled. The challenge always is when you're dealing with this many pieces is to get the correct pieces in the right areas. There's approximately 1,000 pieces from hardware to tops to legs to cabinets to overheads and all the electrical that is needed and it's probably going to take eight to ten installers four to five days to complete the install of all the furniture. Now as you can imagine, there's a ton of cardboard left over from trying to get the product here safely, but we found a green way to deal with it so it doesn't end up in a landfill. That's why this guy is here. He's part of the greener solution. So I'm really excited. Daniel is here, Daniel Suarez, and what he does, which I think is so wonderful and important for this project, he actually helps Office Furniture Warehouse take all of the boxes, all of the waste, and he brings them to Miami to recycle, which is fantastic because we are a green building and we're trying our best to be eco-friendly and conscious, so this is wonderful. Muchas gracias, Daniel. What's amazing is the technology. We've been able to get into this small little area. So it's day two here on the job site of our furniture installation with Mayline, and there are parts and pieces everywhere. There are desk legs over there, cabinets over here, but somehow I'm so glad I have a big team who's helping me put it all together. Of course, any day I'm installing furniture is hectic because I want to make sure that the product I'm receiving is perfect, without any flaws and without any dings, that I've received the right furniture and that it's all going in the right direction. Our office furniture installation is about complete but we still have a few extra things to add that's going to make this space extra special for the employees. In today's office environment, ergonomics are so important for employee health. So many of us are at our desks all day long, five days a week, and prolonged sitting can have serious health consequences. So I turned to a company called Ergotron for some products that extend ergonomic comfort to the end user. Ergotron is known for products that make an office space a healthier experience, especially when using digital technology. Things like ergonomic desk mounts for computers, TV mounts for the wall, and sit-stand workstations for employees so they can get up from their chairs and move their legs while working. Brandstar's IT director, Adam Brown, is overseeing the installation of these ergonomic devices. We're installing Ergotron wall mounts for the TVs in each office as well as the arm mounts for desktop computer monitors. What I especially like is the small footprint taken up by these mounts. We're placing the movable arm mounts within reach of the employee, but at the back of the desk, which leaves a lot more space for the employee. Uh, so what's neat about the Ergotron products is it allows us to have flexibility uh, on those desks. If you want to move your monitor around, show someone that's sitting next to you, you can just grab the monitor, spin it around, show it to somebody else. Uh, they've also provided a sit-stand desk. Employees have the flexibility of being able to sit down or stand up while they're working. Uh, the sit-stand desk is just good for your health. This is also installation day for the TV monitors, which will be mounted in each private office. Element Electronics is providing these Energy Star certified monitors that they've shipped down from their state-of-the-art factory in Winsboro, South Carolina. So Element brought on uh, two different types of televisions for us. Uh, both are 4K uh, resolutions, uh, but we've, they brought on both 55 and 65 inch TVs. Uh, this allows us to put the 55s in areas a little bit smaller, uh, where you don't want to have something as large as the 65, but both give us the, the great resolution and the high def uh, that we need in those areas. What I really liked about the Element TVs from a design perspective 
was its black border, because when you place it on the Ergotron wall mount, the TV almost disappears into the blackboard bubble, which we've painted on the wall. It's all part of the design, and I've planned to inspire some fun and creativity in each office space. So with the Element TVs in the Listen bubble on the executive office's walls, it allows us to kind of hide the television when they're not on. So really, really, when you look into the offices, you may not even know that there's a television there. But once you turn it on, it really focuses on the content, uh, allows it to be more vibrant coming off the wall. And here's something else that's really neat about the Element TV. I've run HDMI cables from the desktop computer so that the television can also serve as an extra computer monitor for more collaboration in the office space. So anybody that's in the office uh, can take that TV that's on the wall, move the content to it, and also since Ergotron's mount has a, an arm to it, uh, you can rotate the TV, point it in different directions, so then you can collaborate with uh, the people that are in your office. Really what's amazing is the technology. We've been able to get into this small little area um, and how that technology will help all our associates complete their job. So everything from having a smart TV to having the iPads at people's fingertips in a smaller work environment with technology and systems and processes that allows them to do things quickly and together can increase the productivity and the speed of everything. I think the employees are really going to love this urgent ergonomic technology we've placed in each office. It's going to be different for you without all the things in your office. It's very minimalistic, which is awesome. I'm about to take Carmen and Mark through the space, and they've only seen the furniture solutions through small samples, through our Vimtrek 3D model, but I know when they see this in person, it's so much warmer and you know, I'm excited for them to see it. I can't wait to see their reaction. Come on in Your my office. office. Look at this. Wow. Sweet. Beautiful. All right, come have a okay. seat. I'll bring you over. Okay. We have to have a meeting. <laughs> come on over here. Let's talk about it. Ah, hold you on. You feel very comfortable. Oh, oh, do you need a tissue? Hold on. Let me get you on. <laughs> You know, I've been questioned several times from people, well, or how are you going to adjust to this environment? And i got to be honest with you, I love it. I mean, it's clean, it's sharp, uh, it doesn't have clutter in it, uh, and uh, I, it, I think it's perfect. It's exactly what I'm looking for. As you can see, Mark and Carmen are really pleased with the new space, and even Alan seems impressed with how we've integrated his Mayline furniture into our design. Most importantly, from an office standpoint, I think we accomplished what you wanted. Mm -hmm. You wanted a really nice big work surface. You selected the GIST chair. Mm -hmm. This is a great chair. This is actually the chair that I have in my office. And what I like about it being a bigger guy is that it adjusts in five different ways. Not only will your workers be functional, but they'll be comfortable. Exactly. So I know I'm biased, but I think it's a pretty good looking office. I would have to agree. I think you're all set to go. I really couldn't picture it in my head to be as nice as it, as it turned out to be. So, I mean, the folks from Mayline, again, they just really did a great job from beginning to end. Uh, and everything in my office just fits. It's all well coordinated, and um, it just feels like the, the place I, I'm supposed to be. The chalkboard walls and the dry erase walls really came out well. I think they're not only going to be fun, but they'll be great for collaboration. It's all about making every element of this office functional. I'm so excited to move in. Um, we have all sorts of things like chalk, you know, walls where people can write on chalk and white walls and everybody is just chomping at the bit to get in here. Well, here we are. Another week of construction completed. I couldn't be more pleased with how everything's turned out. The paint color looks really beautiful and the Mayline office furniture is just what I envisioned. But we're not done with Mayline yet. They will be installing some innovative furniture in the large bullpen area, along with some really cool nesting tables and chairs for the social digital room. The bullpen's designed for 54 people, and when you have that many in one space, you're bound to have noise issues. I think we've found a way to solve that issue with innovative sound masking technology that will really fine tune the building for a quiet and productive work environment. We're going to be looking at that, as well as some fun ways to address the individuality and creativity of our employees that I'm sure they're going to love. <laughs>